What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, J Squad? What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a mukbang. 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 I don't even know what the hell it means, but I know it involves eating, and that is my forte for the moment. So I went and got some Hooters. You know what I'm talking about? I love Hooters. Um, I got me some. Ooh, look at that. Got me some shrimp. Can't say shrimp. You gotta say shrimp. Got me some frizzies. And my favorite. Ooh, oh, 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 all that good stuff. Ooh, ooh, look at it. Look at it. You know what I'm talking about. So you guys, um, today gonna be talking about being bullied. Um I never really spoke too much about it. I never talked too much about being bullied on this channel. But I'm gonna open up to you guys while I eat this good old meal. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. Look at that. Yeah, I got this good old meal here. So yeah. Um, you guys know guys to have the obey. Obey, sponsor me. I put this on everything. I mean everything. And it like they put some on here, but just to make sure. I like it on my fries. And when I get to the um crabs, I add some there. Got to have my agua all 2018. Stay hydrated out there in these streets. So let's get into the video, you guys. So let's talk about me being bullied. Um, I was first bullied in like second or third grade for being like um, I guess you can say obese. I wasn't obese though. I was little. I was a little kid. I was skinny, I was active, all this kind of stuff. But you know, there's this one girl, I think her name was Tanisha. I remember her damn name. In second or third grade, she used to pick on me, man. She used to be like, oh, you so fat. Cause you know, back in my day, mm, back in my day, I used to ride the bus. I'm quite sure everybody rode the bus. What I'm saying is, you used to sit like, by your friends, whatever. And sometimes if the bus is packed, it used to be three to a seat. You know what I'm talking about. So, I used to hate when it was three to a seat. Like, my man, she gonna call me fat. She gonna call me fat. And she did. Every time. I was like, if you want so fat, we could all sit in here. I'm like, man. But, you know, I was big bone. I wasn't really fat or whatever. I, I don't think I was fat. You know, I wish I had some pictures to show you guys, but I wasn't fat. I was just big born. I was just tall for my age. Like, you know, I was very tall. And I guess they didn't recognize that. And then, I used to wear glasses. So, they used to call me four eyes. Fat four eyes. Them kids are mean. They ain't nothing like today's kids. Them kids are changing today, but. This is good. But yeah, they used to call me four eyes, big four eyes. I'm like, man. So, and then she started calling me fat. My best friend, I don't know why my camera just cut off. But then, like, my best friend, Victoria, she was really skinny. And, you know, she was cool with me, and then she started hanging with Tanisha. Oh, they got good friends. You know, she started calling me fat. I was like, you supposed to be my friend. And then I, I came home crying. Came home crying, y'all. And I was like, mom. And I was like, <laughs> kids at school keep calling me fat. That was okay, what you expect? And she was like, well, pick on them too. <laughs> I was like, mom, you're skinny, like. You're already skinny. And stuff, but she was like, Well, you know, let's pick on them, find something about them. I was like, Okay, 
And so, try to find a flaw. I told Tanisha, she did, oh my God, I wish I had my yearbook. She did look like a freaking mosquito. I said, you look like a mosquito. I forgot what I called Victoria. I was like, man, that's tough. Like, that shows you there in third grade, second, third grade. That switch up on you quick, you know what I'm saying? Real quick. I'm like, man. So, dealt with that. And then, I got the fifth grade. Four, no, fifth. Fifth grade was tough. Cause um, in fifth grade, well back then, and when I was in fifth grade, gay was being bad. And in fifth grade, I didn't know I was gay. I just wanted to like girls. I didn't know why. You didn't know why? Like, okay, I thought I was wrong. Like, right? okay, she cute. So I just had this crush on girl named Elena. Caucasian girl, she was cute. I didn't know the difference. I didn't know the difference of like, you know, oh, um, you can't be gay. You know, I didn't know. So anyway, I just like this girl. Back then, we didn't have text messaging. So I wrote her note. So do you like me? Yes or no? She said yeah. I was like, all right, bet. Let me in this thing. So, she fooled me too. I guess, I don't know what you call this fifth grade. I guess you we just flirty. I don't know what that was. As we went on field trips, she always sit beside me. We used to always like joke and laugh and stuff. I don't know what it was called. <laughs> but, um, one day she switched up on me. We was in, um, back then, I don't know they still do it now, they had sex ed. And in sex ed, they was teach us, you know, about the body, about boys and puberty, and all that good stuff. And you know, all that good stuff that came with sex ed. And so, I hated that because all the fourth graders, fifth graders, I'm sorry. All the fifth graders got in one room, and we had to talk about it. By that time, she had her own little friends. And, um, she had her own little friends or whatever. She switched up. She sat right beside him. And she would say stuff like, she would laugh with him. And used to call me JK. Of course, you know, J is my nickname. And it's like, oh, Jay Gay. So that's what they called me. So I was like, you know what it meant? Like, I didn't know, like I said, I was in fifth grade. I was in fifth grade. I didn't know it was bad at the time. You know, it's not bad back then. It was bad to be gay. On my point of view, it was bad to be gay back then. So you got picked on. Anywho, we was in the class. And, um... I was, they were saying something. I was like, well, Jay don't have to worry about getting a baby. She's gay. And then the kids that said it would laugh. And then Elena would laugh. I'm like, are you supposed to be? I guess my boo. My little buddy. you like, why the hell? Why are you laugh? What's up? So. Went to the sex ed class. So after school, I was like, hey, I thought you liked me. She's like, I do. I was like, if you like me, then why are you picking on me? I don't know anything. She's like, I don't know nothing either. I just want to fit in. So you want to fit in? All right, break them out. Try it a lot. So I chilled out from her. I pretty much hung up by myself in fifth grade. I was in the cut. After that, that was raps. But, um, we went on a fifth grade trip. It was like close to the end of the year. We went camping. Mind you, and I was in Tallahassee. What school did I go to? I went to W.T. Moore Elementary School. 
So if you're from Tallahassee, Florida, and you in that elementary school, gang, 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 that's a school I used to go to for the kids out there. I went there, and the end of the year, fifth grade, I don't know if they still do it, you have a, um, you know, you go to a field trip at the end of the year. Well, we look camping. We look camping, I don't know where it's at. I know where it's at, but I forgot the name. It was like 60, it's like 50, 60 degrees. And teacher wanted to take us camping. In the cold. It was cold to tell her she did. I'm like, what was wrong with her? It was cold. I ain't feel that too, because I came home that day. My mom was first. She said, I don't know why that teacher took you out there in that cold. Because time I came home, I was sneezing. My mama gave me some medicine. And um, to bed I went. I remember that day. But anyway. So yeah, we went camp. Me? Okay, first, we had to sign up to see, you know, which bunk you wanted to be in with your friends. So it was me, Elena, Candace, and Carol. Shout out to Carol. Shout out to Candace. I'm proud of y'all. See y'all. Anyway, it was us four. So, you have fun. Me and Laney, that's what they used to call it. Me and Laney got close. You know, we was walking together on the um little nature trail. I had a good old time. I had a good old time. I had fun. It was so cold that the people just like, you know, let's roast, you know, marshmallows, all that kind of stuff. So that was the first time doing it. It was fun. Me and Lainey did it. Long story short, we got back to the cabins we were in. Mind you, it was cold. So, we got, you know, went to sleep, had sleeping bags ready to go, knocked out, I fell asleep, of course, you know me, all that nature had me tired. So, fell asleep, I'm gonna try some of these crap in a minute, in the meantime, fell asleep, and so, Lainey woke me up, she was like, Jay, Jay, I'm like, what? She's like, come up here to my bunk. My bunk was here on the bottom. Hers was on top over me. Excuse me. I was like, why? She's like, because I'm cold. <laughs> my crazy self, why don't you get a blanket? What you need me for? Because I think at the time she was curious and she didn't know either. This is in the 90s, okay? This is in the bow fish. There we go. This is like in the, the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. Okay, you need to know nothing about that stuff. Alright. So, I said, I ain't bet. I crawled up there, making them grown. Fell asleep. We fell asleep together. I woke up late. Of course, uh, I almost missed breakfast. I was like, well, how do you wake me up? I was sleeping right beside you. Oh, I don't know. I forgot. What you mean? I was right there beside you, boo. Alright? What you talking about? No? No, okay. Got back to school. It was a weekend. That happened that Friday. Can't hold that sack. Friday. I don't know. What happened that Friday? I don't know, I forgot, but I know that next, that Monday after that, the whole school knew that I slept right beside Laney. And they were picking on me, coming on, oh, you gay, you gay. Why well, I gotta be gay? Why well, can't she be gay too? She brought me up the hell. I didn't want to sleep down there. I was in my own bed, chilling, you know, in my own little bunk, chilling in the cup. Trying to get some seat it's cold as hell. I worry about the bear coming in that mud. Anyway, got picked on for that. I was like, you know what? At this point, I'm ready to go to middle school. F y'all. I'm ready to go. Okay. So at the end of the year, you know, the little yearbook thing. You know, oh, miss you. Kick ass this summer. You know, KATS, all that old school shit. <clears throat> I was like, all right. Bet. So. Mm. Ran into Laney. 
She's like, what middle school are you going to? I was like, rah. No, I still like her ass. You know, she put me through a living hell. What middle school are you going to? I was like, I'm going to Swift Creek. No, no, no. I want to go to Bellevue. I want to go to Bellevue because, I don't know, be with my people. I was like, all right, I'll go to Bellevue. Well, I'm going to Swift Creek. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I was like, Mom, can I go to Swift Creek? Can you please enroll me in Swift Creek Middle School, please, please, please? And she was like, all right, I just want to go. I'm like, all right. Bet. So she enrolled me. So I forget that, you know, during the summertime, people change. So I was like, oh my God, the whole song, I was like, oh, I can't wait to see Lainey with her, she doing all this good stuff. Mind you, me and her stay, 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 talk girl, stay in the same neighborhood. So I used to ride my bike down there, <laughs> like a little stalker. And see, if my mom was home, I mean, she home. You can think, you know, people got lives, they not home sometimes. So I see my mom, I was like, oh, she home, I want you to think about me. I never really knocked on her door. I don't know why. Anywho, so school started. Middle school, me in middle school. Puberty hit. You know, I'm not good stuff. Females and males go through little growth spurts. I seen her. I was like, she got hot. Hot is what I used to say back then. Oh my God, she got so hot. Then I tried to talk to her. She was just like, you know, all distant. I'm like, hey, how you doing, you know? We in middle school now, gang gang, whoop whoop. You know, we, we almost grown now, boy. You know, we almost grown. She got it kind of weird. I'm like, okay. So, I kept trying to follow her like a lost puppy. I ain't had no sense back then. I don't know what was wrong with me. I followed her like a lost puppy. Long school after a while. I was like, okay. Well, in middle school, and we didn't pick on me not that much. Cause everybody that was in fifth grade with me went to Swift Creek. I'm like, fuck. Oh, I'll see y'all again. But we matured, so a lot of them really call me gay. They didn't call me gay too much. But um, what happened? They stopped calling me gay. And I think at that point everybody came to their senses that I may be a little fruit fruit too. A little fruit. So, you know, everybody chilled on me. So, I was about to ask Lainey out. I was like, okay. I'm still dumb. Still mess with this girl. And she caused me a headache in middle school. I mean, high <clears throat> elementary school. But I still want to ask her out. Like I said, no people. I didn't know nothing about this stuff. So, I asked her. She said, oh, I don't like girls. I'm sorry. Walked off. Boy, if you don't get your line cell, you all owe me in fifth grade. What happened, boy? Hmm? What happened? What happened? I'm put this to the side. Well, I'm gonna try some of these crab legs. But yeah, I'm just like, so what happened? Like, all of a sudden, you don't wanna, you know, talk to me. Like, what happened? So I was like, you know what? I'm done. Screw this relationship. Just so good. You know what I'm saying? Screw them. Mm, you so pretty. They should shit to some new man. I was like, you know what? Cool. Screw you. Hold on, focus, boy. Why you suck? Focus. I was like, screw you, man. Mm, I don't like these. Hey. I was like, alright, bet. So at that point, um, I stayed in the cut. Did me kind of got picked on because you know I was fly. My mama and my aunt had me fly. I was with the Nike stuff. I know I look good. I was like, you know, I'm need you. I'm shining by myself. So, mm. not good, bro. I'm shining by myself. And stuff. So, um, after that. What else happened? I'm trying to think, y'all. It's been so long ago. I'm not surprised I still remember this in detail to the fullest, which is sad. Um, after that, 
I found out Lainey used to like this boy and he was in my reading class or whatever. I'm like, so every day I used to meet one of him. Like, that was mine first. I used to be like, that was mine. Get your own, you know what I'm saying? And everything went left pretty much. Um, got picked on a little bit more. Baze, baze. At that time, some personal things happened at home. That's why I moved to North Carolina. And um, seventh grade, I was in sixth grade. So I finished out my sixth grade year. We moved to North Carolina. I hit the seventh grade. And um, there was this girl named Stephanie. Something. She was Caucasian. Okay. She was cute. Well, then, I don't know. I'm gonna speak on but <laughs> she was cute then. Yeah. Like, all right. She cute. I'm a finesse. Seventh grade, y'all, seventh grade. You ain't had cell phones like I said, so I wrote a good old letter. What high school, what middle school was I in? Concord Middle School. North Carolina. Concord Middle School. I was just like, you cute. You fine. I want you to be mine. You know, soon, you know, I had a little swag back then, you know. Like I said, I was best dressed. My mom and my aunt put it down, you know what I'm saying? Nike, Polo, at that time, FUBU. I was fly. So, you know, I'm fly. I tried to be fly chica. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to write her letter. So, I wrote her letter. And I was just like, um, you cute or whatever, boom, boom. Would you go out with me? All that type of stuff, right? Death in her desk. Like she went to, I think she got called to the nurse's office. And I used my chance. Pulled it up, put it in her desk. And she came back. We was in Ms. Gentry, Gentry's class, I think. Yeah, we were. She was our reading class, our reading teacher. All right, okay. So I slipped it in there. And she came back. Whoa, I'll do that. She seen the letter. I sat back, I'm just like, too much I didn't see her. I'm just like, when she sat in front of me, I'm just like, looking around, she looked back at me and she laughed. I'm like, okay. So, she told the whole damn school that I, Jay, wrote her letter, asking if she'd be my girlfriend, we should go out with me. So at that point, the whole school knew. You like, know what? I'm tired of taking these L's. I'm tired. I said, you know what? I'm tired. I didn't know what that meant. Hell. I just, I couldn't help how I felt about girls. I wasn't really in the boys. I was like, boys are trash. I was a filmer. But anyway, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So after that, long story short, when I picked on the seventh grade, I'm like, I'll be damn. I'm tired of this. You know, I'm taking L's. In eighth grade, boy. Got promoted to eighth grade. That was a blessing because the seventh grade, I went through some personal stuff I don't want to talk about. We'll get into that in another video. But, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> eighth grade. I say eighth grade is when I hit my glow. I got a boyfriend. Yeah. So all those, oh, I thought you were gay. Yeah. I got a boyfriend now, boy. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say I had a boyfriend, um, Elijah. Same was Elijah. He was cute. Or um, 
It's cute. Give it to him. But, um, I had to ask him out. So, I mean, you both like each other. We used to come over to each other's house and play games. And, you know, video games. We used to come to my house. My mama made me leave the door open. I was like, mama, please. Please. That's the last thing on my mom. But, he'll come over. He'll cook. He'll eat. Go to his parents' house. They'll cook and eat. Vice versa, you know. Bring our parents became kind of cool. You know, so. They just stopped picking on me in eighth grade. They just stopped picking on me in eighth grade. So I hit that glow. But at that time, I still like girls. So I guess I was bisexual. Like, I don't put labels on it. I just like what I like. I thought Elijah was cute. I'm like, you know what? I want you to be my boyfriend. We used to hold hands. We used to kiss. Not like no, you know, just like, you know, little pecs. Little pecs here and there. I was like, oh, this is fun. Huh? Back to my mom, it's like, yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> Yo! Back to my mom, it's like, yeah, I want a girl. But, yeah. I was stuck getting picked on 8th grade and ninth grade. That was like 2004. Now I went to ninth grade. Yeah. Everybody knew what gay was by then. Everybody knew what gay was. Everybody was cool with it. So I fit right in. Nobody picked on me. The boys just be like, hey, we're going to look at girls together. No fun. Me and the boys just sit back, look at all the girls that's going, oh, yo, that's going to be mine. I'm like, no, keep looking, you know. So I got picked on from my weight to being gay. I don't consider myself gay. I'm just a free spirit out here in these streets. I like what I like. And, um, you know, I like what I like. But you got I'm full. I can't eat no more. So, thank you guys for coming back. Listen to me, Red. Eat this good old food. About to go take me in good right now. But <laughs> thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. If you guys want to see more videos like this, me chowing down because I'll eat good. I eat pretty good. Make sure you let me know. Follow on my social media. I will talk back to you guys. Thank you guys. And like I always say, peace.